Hi guys, how are you all? Uh, I hope you are doing well, studying hard and nobody is wasting or killing their times and nobody is searching for a study partner, right? So I think I'll, I'll talk about study partner also one day. That is a very interesting topic, I feel. So yeah, I've also done that. I've been there, done that. So I, I'll talk about study partner one day for sure. So I'm so sorry guys, this video wasn't supposed to be this late. Actually, my friends came, came over to my house, my UG friends, and then my momentum just got broken. So, yeah, so, yeah, so here we are again. So, uh, I think I'll start from where I left, that is PYQs, right? So, PYQs, guys, are the most, most, most important thing. I can't really focus on how important they are, like nothing more important than the PYQs. It's like that, right? So now I just wanted to discuss the ways I think one should solve PYQs, like my personal opinion. There can be many other right ways of doing that. So uh, guys, like how I did was like if I wanted to solve cardiology, suppose from medicine. So what I used to do was like I used to go on custom modules, uh, select 100 questions. Then I used to go on medicine, cardiology, hashtag cardiology, hashtag need PG, hashtag aims. Then I used to get 100 questions, about 100, like whatever uh, number they had, they used to give me, like if they had 100 questions, they used to give me 100 questions. So that's how it was. And I feel that that is a more organized way of doing things because you know, okay, these are the things that was being asked in cardiology and you were unnecessarily taking tension of cardiology. Like cardiology is not difficult. They're not asking the stuff which you think they, they might be asking. So most of the things you just think. They're not being asked, you know, they're they not asking the whole Harrison. They have a set questions. Like ECGs also people feel they are very difficult. But if you see they're asking only 8 to 9 ECGs, like to name some, like kuch tumko rati gai hai, like PSVT they ask every time. Then they ask, like there's an alcoholic patient. He comes with palpitations, you won't see a P wave. And it's atrial fibrillation almost always. Alcoholic, atrial fibrillation done. Like most of the times, right? Then the next ECG they ask is COPD patient and you'll see three kinds of uh, three more more than three morphologies of P waves. So that's multifocal atrial tachycardia. Then the questions will come on localization of MI. We we'll learn kardo, yaar, V1, V2, V3, A anterior reads. Hai. We'll just learn in that way. V3, V4, septal leads. Hai. I mean, things will get easy. Just uh, get done with these things once and for all. These things are going to get repeated. So don't make the same mistakes, right? Don't be afraid of ECGs. Just do it right away. Right. So, so you'll get an idea. If you do questions in an organized way in this manner, you'll know what cardiology is about. And that this goes for every subject, every topic. Like do it in this way. Right. So yeah, what else I want to talk about? Yeah. Mm, I think that's all I wanted to talk about P by Q's. So yeah, that's all guys. I hope you keep doing well, right? So, ta-da, bye-bye.